Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I go from this to how I straighten my hair. Um, there's just a couple tools that I use to get my hair straight. This is one of them. It's a, it's a Conair Infinity Pro hair straightener. I've had for many, many years, but it does a job. It works better than your expensive brand ones. So um, I need like a hair clip. I need, I have my brush here, and I have a Leah right here, hair tie. So I'm going to show you guys how I straighten my hair with this. I believe it was like $20 at Walmart, and um, it's an Infinity Pro Con Air hair straightener. So I, this morning when I showered, I already sprayed the heat protectant in my hair, and I've let it air dry. So this is what it looks like now, and then you will see what it looks like when I straight it. So first of all, I'm going to part my hair. Let me do this. So I'm going to put it up there. I split it in half. And my hair is um, super easy to straight. So I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to grab like a fourth of this, well, half of the half. And then I'm just going to go right in. And then I do go in and do like the, the roots and the pieces like that once I'm done with everything. I get like really, really close to my scalp. And that smoke you see right there is from the heat protectant. It's not that it's frying my hair. No. I have it at 400 degrees. Yeah, it's high. But I feel like this is what works for me. And... I don't feel like it damages my hair as much. So that's that compared to that. Now let's move on to the next side. I'll detangle it to the house. Kind of leave it a little longer once it gets closer to my roots. Bring the next piece down. Yes, it's still a little curly up here, but I will get to that in a minute. Yes, and if you could tell, these are like super old, super dirty, but this is my favorite curler, I mean strainer that I've ever had. So, so then I just go in and kind of get the closest parts to my scalp to get the curly the frizzy off and I'm not a professional so by any means I'm not trying to say that this is the right or wrong way to go but this is what works for me and could work for you So for me, this is good enough right here for the bottom. Got this side, got this side, and I'm gonna be moving on to the top part. And I do section this off like this. I do the sides like this, and then I do the middle at the end. So we're gonna go back up here with the chongle, like that. Okay. 
I'm going to start back here. Start up the group. Can I connect this up here somehow? Make a hold up there. Stay on that bike. And if you wanted to, you could actually curl your hair with these two. This is the part I'm going to do my beans right here. Make sure I get this piece right here. We'll do the same thing we did on the other side. Just grab this from the back. I'm trying to get it the closest I can to my scalp. We're pretty much almost done with my hair, as you can see. I like to go in my ends because they're very burned ends, so dead ends. Make sure it's even. When I get up here, what I like to do up here, is of course, I detangle it. And I part this kind of like a little bit sideways because this is kind of how I do my style over here. Move this back up. Bring it to the back. And since this is a very thin layer up here, I could do it all at once. That's done. Put up here. 
I'm just going to move this to the side. I'm going to just do this. And we are almost done here. So I just grab my things and fix this up right now. And this is pretty much how I achieve my straight, straight, super smooth hair. Super, super easy, super fast. And it really, really calms all the frizz in my hair compared to how I had it. And yep, yeah, this is the final look. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And we'll see you on the next video.